Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Boy, this is just utterly amazing what's going on today with Yellowstone. You know, many of you that have been following me, I talked about the mantle plume that comes up from the Gulf of California and extends all the way up to Yellowstone. For those of you that might be new, uh, they did a bunch of monitoring and took seismic stuff and yeah so here's the mantle plume it's about 250 miles wide and it goes all the way up to yellowstone and that's that red triangle and this here is the snake river plateau go figure i can't find the original image that i wanted to show you but the magma comes up from the Gulf of California traveling across the United States and it comes up to Yellowstone and then it goes across to the west this is why we have the eruptions for Hell's Half Acre Craters of the Moon all that stuff so what did we have happen today but there was a 6.3 earthquake and I did a report about that earlier showing uh, yeah all these different earthquakes I also explained how this is actually part of the Gulf of California rift zone and we got the middle American trench this is that earthquake that happened down there in in uh, Mexico that showed up on the western boundary Maple Creek West Thumb Mary Lake and then the borehole for Yellowstone Lake this is that earthquake let me close this and then today because of that circulation of the magma that comes up all the way from down there yeah um, hours later it showed up that magma showed up there at Yellowstone EMSC said it was a magnitude 4.4 USGS said it was a magnitude 4.2 this is the western boundary yeah look at the magma the heat that came up all the toxic gases let's bring it across look at that look at that oh what was that I thought I saw something there maybe not okay I thought I saw some screaming okay well bring it over bring it over bring it over yeah these are all all up here lines of melt pockets of melt EMSC said it was 4.4 .4. I get a 4.43 let's take a look at the seismic signature this is volcanic earthquakes yep it definitely shook it up this is the western boundary you know when I did my report for that earthquake in Mexico yeah I didn't even consider even think about um, <laughs> yeah the magma that comes up from the Gulf of California all the way up to Yellowstone I didn't even think about it let's check out Maple Creek yeah until this happened yeah okay um, let's look at the seismic signature for Maple Creek yeah see that I don't even have to make it that large yeah volcanic tremors here on the thumbnails now this is real interesting you notice that the uh, stronger of the earthquakes from the first earthquake that came in from Mexico we got it here on Parker Peak uh, the east entrance Lake Butte um, the promontory not so much in the middle like at Yellowstone Lake or the upper falls but here we got Holmes Hill, Maple Creek, uh, Western Boundary, and Little West Thumb. And you may remember this image here, how it shows the magma coming up over here by the Sour Creek Resurgent Dome. Okay, here we got Yellowstone Lake, and it moves across towards the uh, Mallard Lake Resurgent Dome. And then it goes up, going towards the north and then towards Hedgen Lake 
and then of course over towards the Snake River Plateau. These are some of the more recent earthquakes. When I downloaded the file, this was at 2338, which would have been at 538 p.m. there at Yellowstone, which they're not reporting because it's after 5 o'clock, and at 5 o'clock everyone goes home, right? The last one they're reporting is a magnitude 1.4, which was at uh, 2308. Hard to tell, but it looks like it's a magnitude 3.70. Now, this is probably the one that they, yeah, this is the one they did report. The last one they reported at 2303, I believe. Let me double check. Second to last. They're saying that's a magnitude 2.3. But I come up with a 2.83. Yeah, they left the 8 off. Here at the western boundary, that last one that they reported, let me go to the spectrogram, as a magnitude 1 point, let me see if I can even find it on here, 4 might be so small that it won't even show up here. Yeah, it doesn't even show up. Here we got 2308 and... 5 seconds, 8 seconds. Let's try the seismic signature. Yeah, just a little blip. I'll try and make that bigger. Yeah, harmonic. Doesn't even show. But this one, they're not even bothering to report. Yeah, volcanic tremors. Now, this recent earthquake that they're not reporting shows up on 1, 2, 3, and 4 monitors. Mary Lake. West Thumb, Maple Creek, and the Western Boundary. Here it is at West Thumb. Okay, and this is definitely tectonic. This is fault movement. This is not volcanic that it's showing here at West Thumb. Maple Creek, let's see what it's showing. Now, that, that's volcanic. Okay. And then the western boundary, same thing, volcanic. Yeah, we got magma coming up through that plume. And then Mary Lake, I talked about before, how Mary Lake, it sloshes around back and forth. Yeah, volcanic. Yeah, and then this is what it was showing when I pulled the files. Okay, that's tectonic. Let's take a I'll have to make that smaller. Yeah, I find this very exciting. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. They all went home. Uh, they're stocking up their bunkers. Probably uh, preparing for World War Three. Yeah, we got idiots in office. Wanted to take a quick look here at Yellowstone. There was one report sent into EMSE. It says Yellowstone is coming. Salva, Russia. And that report came from Boise, Idaho. So that would be about 194 miles. Um, now that's for the 4.4. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. They just go home. They don't give a hoot. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you for sharing. Always be prepared. <laughs> it's either Yellowstone or World War III. What do you think will happen first? Maybe they'll happen at the same time. Russia has <laughs> threatened to nuke Yellowstone. I don't know. Yeah. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. <music>